Hello guys, Wizards here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today's battle we have the uh, Tomb Kings who are being led by Cetra the Imperishable and we're going against the Bretonians here who are just uh, over the hill. So, um, for this army I, I was trying to try something new and I know that uh, with Fey, uh, some Britonian players prefer to bring blob armies and just love to blob and just go ham with their two paladins and the mortis engine effect from uh, Fey. So I brought a similar build, not similar, but uh, a build with a lot of blobbing potential here. And yeah, we're gonna get to that in a minute. So, first of all, let's just jump into the army composition. For my front line, I have two units of tomb guards and two skeleton spearmen in the secondary line I have uh, a unit of tomb guard and two skeleton warriors so a decent front line um, which I think should be fine against the Bretonian infantry so we'll see for my range units I have just a unit of Ushapti with great bows the regiment of renown uh, chosen of the god here I brought two Necropolis Knights for Cav units. Uh, these guys with uh, support can be uh, really good. They have decent charge bonus, decent weapon strength, and okay melee stats. But I'm going to buff that with uh, some abilities and items uh, from Cetra. I have a Blessed Blade of Petra, which uh, increases uh, Cetra's damage. <clears throat> I also have Wrath of Petra. A blinding AOE effect, Nero's incantation of protection, Jaff incantation of curse blades, and yeah, these are the abilities and items that increase uh, damage in an AOE for your, your other units. It doesn't affect uh, Cetra himself, but this item increases charge bonus, uh, base weapon, weapon damage, and armor piercing damage. That's why these guys have buffed stats here. And I also brought the my will be done, unyielding will, or the, um, my will be done, I think that's uh, dark health ability name, but yeah, unyielding will, which increases melee attack and melee defense in an AOE, uh, the restless dead uh, lore attribute, and the, the curse, which does a ton of damage in an AOE, uh, so really good for blob fights, and uh, because we're going for blob, I also brought ja uh, curse of Jaff, and guardian on my tomb prince uh, who is probably gonna be near Cetra for, for the whole game if not uh, it's probably my mistake so for our Bretonian opponent here let's see what he has brought for his front line he has two spe uh, spear men at arms with shields two men at arms with shields uh, we also have two men at arms with pole arms and uh, foot square regiment of renowned be slayers of Aston. Uh, two battle pilgrims uh, and two peasant bowmen. So a lot of infantry here and some cav, but not a lot. We have Knights of the Lion Hearted, uh, the Knights of the Realm Regiment of Renowned, uh, which are awesome looking. And we also have one of the strongest cav, uh, anti large cav, the camp, uh, companions of Quenel, the Questing Knights. Uh, for leadership, my opponent, let's see what he has. He has two paladins. If I'm not mistaken, both of them have um, Guardian and all of their stuff. Probably they don't have the potion, the Foe Seeker, uh, Char Charmed Shield, and Deadly Onslaught. And for Fey Enchantress here, let's see what she has brought for this matchup. Chalice of Potion, Favor of the Fey, Arcane Conduit, The Dwellers Below, which is interesting. We usually don't see that. And uh, no... Um, Regrowth, uh, interestingly enough. We have Earth Blood, Mist of the Lady, and Life Bloom. The rest are the uh, usual uh, passive abilities. So, without further ado, let's start the battle and see what's gonna happen here. So, um, I'm trying to uh, get a hill, get to the top of the hill, so I, uh, so I have the uh, high ground advantage and. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, see what's gonna happen. There are not a, not a lot of good targets for Chosen of the Gods. I mean, the Cav are nice, but 
Um, yeah, I'm not sure how they're gonna perform against infantry, but uh, I'm happy that I brought the Regiment of Renown kind because uh, I think they do uh, better than their uh, regular kind against infantry. So my opponent um, going for an aggress aggressive play here is uh, pro uh, probably gonna go for these uh, Tomb Guard uh, with these three units and with Chalice of Potions I think they're gonna be fine, they're gonna do decently enough. So I'm trying to go for some uh, freebie charges here uh, with my Necropolis Knights, etc. and uh, Tomb Prince uh, and as soon as my opponent sees that uh, he's gonna go for um, his own um, gooning attempt. So Dwellers Below going down, uh, that does a li lot of damage probably and Chalice of Potions so my opponent really doesn't like these Tomb, tomb Guard with Halberds and yeah with the Chalice they're probably gonna get uh, finished real fast. So yeah these guys are probably done. Uh, they're doing some damage but uh, not, the, not the best damage they can do. Uh, so Cetra is going for the side charge into these um, infantry, um, his uh, butter and bread here. I'm trying to get some side charge into these spearmen at arms to lower the pressure on this side of the battle but yeah um, this is not good. The companions and knights of the lion hearted and some of the uh, gooning squad are here and Cetra is probably gonna get surrounded, that's why I need to cast my Nerves Incantation of Protection and uh, Petra's, um, what's the name of the AoE ability, I forgot, Petra's um, Rat, Rat of Petra, so uh, that I might reduce the damage a bit. So uh, this, this is what I uh, uh, foreseen before the battle. Uh, the blob fight that my opponent bought, uh, a side charge from Necropolis Knights with their buff sats, they're probably gonna do decently enough. Uh, Chosen of the Gods probably shooting into the blob which is gonna be nice. Cetra fortunately is able to get out of that blob uh, which is uh, really crucial. I'm probably gonna go in again but I'm, I, uh, I'll probably go for a uh, uh, better targeting attempt. The second Necropolis Knights, I'm trying to hold these guys in place while my tomb guard and skeleton warriors are uh, trying to envelope this unit. Uh, I need to get in with uh, Petra, I mean <laughs> Cetra, not Petra, with his uh, ba Blade of Petra active to uh, blind some of these units and help my Necropolis Knight as you are seeing here one of them is uh, kind of done. Uh, the curse is going down doing a lot of damage to these units, uh, I'm not sure what's uh, what's gonna be difference uh, of damage to between infantry and cav but uh, we'll see Th these guys took a lot of damage now with um, tomb, uh, tomb prince here and my tomb guard and skeleton warriors these guys are pinned down I'm trying to catch uh, one of the paladins and finish him off I'm probably gonna bring these uh, necropolis knights with their six models uh, they're crumbling but uh, they're gonna do decently enough if I'm able to uh, surround this uh, paladin. A chalice of po potion going down. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if it did enough damage to my units. My opponent probably killed a lot of its units as well. Knights of the Lionhearted are running away. We have companions of Quenel uh, with 11 models. They still can be uh, scary but uh, I'm trying to catch them and with, uh, with uh, the bolts, I don't know, the large arrows being shot uh, from Chosen there, yeah, these guys have six model now, so they're much uh, of a less, uh, they're less of a threat now. Uh, Tomb Prince fighting Fane Chantress and Paladin at the same time, but I'm summoning some uh, Ushapti to help him and uh, the other Skeleton Warriors and Tomb King to bog these guys down. I'm probably gonna cast uh, the uh, Curse Blaze. Uh, the incantation of curse plays on one of these infantry it gives the whole unit anti-large uh, jab incantation of curse plays uh, which is really nice they're gonna do really well here unfortunately I use it on skeleton warriors I should have used it on uh, the tomb tomb guard but uh, in the tick of battle uh, targeting is uh, gonna be kind of hard so the companions are fighting the chosen but I'm fine with that so yeah as uh, 
as it was apparent um, I had a lot of army remaining so yeah um, fun fight let's see how our uh, uh, units did etc uh, he did a lot of damage um, 12k damage done uh, and the, with the damage value of nearly 800 uh, 1800 I mean uh, not bad but I was expecting more I don't know what happened there Tomb Prince uh, 3k damage dealt 1000 damage value infantry killing lower uh, tier infantry which is um, yeah they didn't do that great but uh, fortunately the uh, chosen of the gods did fine the um, necropolis knights also did fine this one paid for itself this one uh, not so much he was fighting a lot uh, the three uh, enemy characters and two regiment of renowned calf probably some infantry too so yeah i'm happy with their performance let's see how our opponent did uh, nearly oh my god 20k damage dealt 3000 uh, nearly 3000 damage value insane stuff paladins doing fine infantry let's see nothing out of the ordinary nothing uh, too outstanding uh, the calf the calf also was uh, shut down so yeah i'm happy with this build really uh fun um uh i don't know uh, unlike most people i'm not against blobbing i kind of enjoy it uh, dragging down your opponent I, I don't like it when uh, it's uh not good for me but when i uh, initiate the blobbing and start killing the enemy um units that's that's fine <laughs> so yeah that's it for this battle guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did i would really appreciate it if you guys consider leaving a like and subscribing it would really help me and my channel grow i upload videos daily so stay tuned for that as well i also have a discord server if you guys wanna chat hang out uh, you can find me there and yeah it's gonna be fun so yeah catch you all later bye